<laughs> you see how big this thing is? It don't matter where your window down or not. You can decide to run up on you. Look at them. Seven o'clock in the morning, um, Saturday, June the 6th, and I am up so early because today we're going to be taking the girls to a drive through safari type thing. Um, Adriana is a part of this organization down here in Orlando called Nathaniel Hope, um, and they usually have like a big event every year in the summer um, in June where they gather all of resources for special needs parents. And um, it's just like a big fun festival carnival type thing for special needs children. And um, I really love going to it. Audrey really, really loves it. Um, but they couldn't have it this year, you know, because of the pandemic situation. So they sent us invitations to go to a drive through safari that's down here in Orlando. So I'm gonna be, me and Dre are gonna be taking the girls to that and I wanted to take you guys with me because this will actually be our first time going to this. I didn't even know that we had this down here. So it should be interesting. Um, and I need something to do with these kids, y'all. I literally like just woke up. Y'all can probably hear it in my voice. Um, but right now the girls are in there eating their breakfast and I'm packing the diaper bag and getting myself situated. I haven't had to pack a diaper bag in a while to go anywhere because we haven't went anywhere. So um, getting them out of the house, it might be kind of crazy because I haven't had to do it in a long time. So I just finished washing my face and everything. So now I'm gonna start getting dressed, find myself something comfortable to wear because um, we're just gonna be in the car. And we booked the early time because my kids are early birds. <laughs> they wake up super early. So I thought that we would just go ahead and go early and, you know, have fun before it gets really, really hot down here in Florida. I am not a morning person, but my husband and my kids are. So there's that. <laughs> my hair is looking crazy. These are the same twists that I did in my last um, video my spring summer twist routine I think it's been about a week and a half yeah probably about a week and a half so I need to take these out but I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow um and I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow so right now I'm not even gonna worry about it because I'm just about to put it up probably in a bun or something anyway Say good morning to the block. Good morning to the block. <laughs> Here. For what? You. Oh. For you lose. And I cry. And you cry? Yeah, and I cry. Because I lose my winner ring? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to cry for? Because that means I got to buy another one. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy hat. You going to wear it? Put it on. <laughs> fit your, fit your head. Fit your head be in my careful. Head. <laughs> Daddy, mommy. It's okay. You gotta be careful. Sorry. Sorry, mommy. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> On our way to the zoo. I'm sad because it's actually it's raining, but said rain or shine on the flyer so we're still going it's a drive -by. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway because we don't be in a car but still i sure wasn't raining hopefully it's not raining like too hard 
at the place when it's our time. Because it's raining, the animals don't want to come out. Because it's raining. You ready to see your animals, Beetle? You want animals? You can't get out. <laughs> you gotta see them through the car. They're it's gonna, raining. They're gonna come to the window. Look! 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 Look over there! Look! You see? Audrey's smiling. Oh, look! 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 See? see? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> look, look. Look. You see, Audrey? Mila? See? <laughs> Drive slow. Five miles per hour max. Alligator water. Yeah, alligators in the water. It's an alligator. Yes. <laughs> what do you want me to do if you don't want them to eat? <laughs> no, they need to eat. Look how big he is. He's big. So we are actually back. We've been back for about a couple hours. Um, when we got back, I um, fed the girls lunch and everything. And right now I'm actually cooking dinner while they're in the other room playing. I'm actually in Audrey's room. And I wanted to show you guys the gift bags that they gave us. Every time we go to one of these events, they always um, we always leave with a ton of stuff. But I wanted to show you guys the name of it again. It's called the Nathaniel Hopes Organization. So if you're in the Florida area, make sure you definitely check them out. Like I said, they give a ton of resources for uh, special needs kids and special needs families. They do buddy breaks for the parents um, where they have, you know, a team of people you can drop your kid off and you know just have time to yourself as a parent because they know how overwhelming and you know everything could be with a special needs child i haven't taken adriana to one of the buddy breaks because it's actually i live in kissimmee and they usually have it over in orlando so i haven't actually dropped her off to one yet but i do know that they offer it so it's always great they do things for her birthday they send her cards um and gifts for her birthday they send her things for christmas like it is I love this organization, you guys. So, like I said, if you're in the area, make sure you guys check it out if you do have a special needs child. But let's go ahead and get into these goodies to see what they gave us. Big box of cookies, some popcorn, um, and there's some Easter stuff in here too, you guys. Like they gave us Easter candies and 
all of that stuff. I thought this was interesting. This is actually a book that the parents wrote about the little boy who the the um organization is actually named after. His name was actually Nathaniel Timothy Nuck and his name meant a treasured gift of God and he actually passed away when he was four years old and his parents started this organization for them for him and they wrote a book about his life the little boy he actually looks like their um their character mascot here but when I opened the bag I saw this instantly and I really want to read it this is about his life and his parents like I said they wrote about his journey right there on the back so I I really want to dive into this because it's a lot of things that goes into being a special needs parent. Sometimes you feel um, out of place. Sometimes you feel like you don't fit in with, you know, the rest of your peers or anything who have kids that are what they call neurotypical. But sometimes it makes you feel a little bit alienated and isolated because you have a lot of things that you're going through with your child that you know some of your other peers may not be going through with their kids and with me having Adriana and Mila since they are two totally like separate like in everything sometimes it's a little difficult for me to balance both you know I try to make sure I do things that are geared towards both of them not just do things that are you know just for special needs kids but a lot of the different events and stuff that we take Adriana to, like her music therapy and like all of that, they always welcome Mila with open arms. So Mila has experienced a lot of different things in her two years <laughs> of being on this earth. And I think it's really good for her. It's actually her crying right now. And I think it's really good for her because it exposes her to a lot of different elements early on in her life to let her know that everybody is not the same everybody is different and that is okay but let's see what else they got teddy bears they gave us a bunch of coupons and candies in this bag it's a bunch of goodies in here they always we always get a t-shirt for adriana this is the t-shirt this year that she got she has a couple of these t-shirts we've been in this organization i want to say for two two or three years now. Yeah, it's been about two or three years. And they call all of their kids that are a part of the organization VIP members. They gave us um, a little envelope filled with a bunch of coupons. So like a and Chick-fil-A, Crayola Experience. Like they really take care of the kids, you guys pretty much all the stuff that is in the bag. What did you do to me, Tommy? <laughs> Mila. <laughs> a lot of fun, you guys. The girls really enjoyed the safari. I wasn't sure how they were going to react to it um, because they'd never been to a zoo or anything like that. And luckily, it... Um, it didn't rain hard like it was it was sprinkling a little bit but it didn't like pour down rain so we could roll our windows down and they could see the animals it didn't start to rain harder until we left so that was great but adriana she enjoyed it she was looking out the window and you know looking at all the animals and things she actually paid attention to you know the animals and mila she loves animals so she definitely had a great time so um it was a different experience it was basically like a drive-through zoo, <laughs> which is de it's definitely different, but it was fun and it's open to the public. This is actually called Wildlife Florida, so I'll go ahead and link it down below um, if you guys are interested in checking it out. But it was definitely fun. And like I said, it was a different experience, something that we've never done before i think that's really gonna be it for this vlog you guys i just really wanted to take you guys along with us through this experience because i like to document my life and look back on things especially things um for adriana because i like to see her journey and how far she has come and it always like it just astounds me like how amazing she is but i'm gonna go ahead and finish cooking dinner for these littles <laughs> anyway um but i think that's 
really gonna be it for the vlog, you guys. Because this little one keeps coming in here and driving me crazy. So that's it, you guys. See you later. Boo.